Hi, I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries, and this is the Shutter Glass Chamber. The Shutter Glass Chamber is a type of mystery box. It has three shadow boxes inside of it that can only be revealed when you have solved the puzzle and tripped the sensor. Here's how it works. I'm using LCD shutter glass, which is used sometimes for privacy panels in conference rooms, all the way down to these very small panels we're using, which are designed for welding helmets. Now you can see in this little demo, when I press this little button, I'm going to get a fade effect that reveals a playing card that's hidden behind the glass. You can do this simply by connecting a battery across the terminals. Anywhere from 3 to 5 volts will create the darkening effect. In order to get this smooth ramp up and fade out effect on the opacity, I'm using a little microcontroller called a trinket. And it has a PWM, or pulse width modulation output, on a few of its pins, which allow us to simulate the smooth ramp of the voltage coming up and then going back down. Let's have a look inside the box. We have a 5 volt trinket microcontroller, and that's really controlling all of the fade effects on the panels. And it's getting its power through a little LiPoly battery charger, and I have a little LiPoly battery here. We can charge the LiPoly battery through the little micro USB port, and I have an on-off switch that is breaking or connecting ground between those two, and that's what turns the thing on and off. Here I've got three of the LCD shutter panels, and they are blocking little windows that I cut out of the top of the box. They're wired to each other across the ground terminals and then back to the microcontroller, and then there are three separate wires going to the panels from the microcontroller on three separate pins. And this is what allows us to stagger the effect. You could also set it up so that only one window is revealed under one condition and another under another and so on. I've actually just set it up to have kind of an organic stagger between the windows when this little magnet sensor has been tripped. I have a little magnet in my hand. The windows will go from opaque to transparent. The idea to do the shadow boxes actually came from first testing it out as a simple sandwiching the cards against the glass technique. When I did that, I had a false bottom so that everything was self-contained in the lid here, and the box was empty, which was kind of a cool effect. You could open it up and still not see how any of the insides worked. The problem with this is that when I tried this out on people, they said it looked kind of like I had an iPad or something stuck inside the lid because it was glass with then kind of a graphic showing up. In order to enhance the effect of what's really going on here, I decided we needed a little bit of depth. And so I created these little chambers, each of which is self-contained and is underneath one of the panels. I used a technique that you find inside of cardboard boxes that are used to transport bottles, which is something I prototyped first out of some construction paper. And these are simply notches cut into horizontal and vertical members that slot into each other. I created a version out of acrylic, and that's what I'm using in the final here. One of the nice things about the acrylic is that it's black and reflective, so it has a similar look to the glass that we're looking through, and we get little extra internal reflections that enhance the 3D nature of the boxes. I'm John Park for Adafruit, and this has been the Shutter Glass Chamber.